She's one of the most sought after sopranos in the world. She's one of Time Magazine's 100 most influential artists. And she began her career at the Mariinsky Theater cleaning floors? We're talking about Russian diva Anna Nitrepko. And on this night, she's returning to her roots, singing in the city where she got her big break, Russia's cultural capital, St. Petersburg. How does it feel to live in this city? It has an amazing atmosphere. It does, and this is city like a drug. You always want to be back here. Backstage, Nedrepko's worried about a nagging cold. A long-awaited debut at Carnegie Hall is around the corner. But you wouldn't know it listening to her sing Yolanta's aria from Tchaikovsky's opera of the same name. As a little girl growing up in southern Russia, Nitrepko dreamed of making it as an actress and singer. At the age of 16, she left for St. Petersburg to study at the conservatory. I think if you want to, to have something very important, if you have just to go like this. As a student, she cleaned yeah. floors so she could listen to some of the world's best opera singers. So you used to sweep the floor? Right this here. One? No wonder it's so clean. It's still clean from where you used to work here. It, it wasn't that clean when I was working here. I was cleaning very fast and running to see the performance. She eventually got her big break, singing for the musical director of the Mariinsky Theater, Valery Gergiev. She was learning quickly here. And then it became her ambition to become. One day she auditioned for me, so I saw, oh, this is a girl that's so many times. And what was she was doing normally? People say, cleaning the floor. So, and then she started to sing, and there was another surprise. She sang quite well. Yeah, it's, it's a Cinderella story. Her big international break came five years ago at the Salzburg Festival in Austria. Little did Anna know how her life would change that night when she played the role of Donna Anna in Mozart's Don Giovanni. It, it was a big success, and the audience would start to scream, and the next uh, morning in newspaper, oh, the star is born. <laughs> Now she performs in the world's best opera houses and her albums sell like a rock star's. Four years ago, she raised eyebrows by singing on MTV. Her DVD climbed to number one on the charts, beating out pop stars like Britney Spears and Beyonce. Some critics had doubts, even her mentor. And I'm sure she understands that there are certain things which one can try and then maybe put aside. For now, Anna says she's put MTV aside but has no regrets. It was fun. It was fun, it was fantasy, and I really enjoyed to do that. And theaters just can't get enough of Anna Nitrepko. She's booked solid for the next six years. Relitsa Vasilova, CNN, St. Petersburg.